ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the reason behind the UK fruit and veg shortage. Now, let's get into it. Two Supreme Court battles this week could reshape the rules of the internet. Both cases were brought by family members of terrorist attack victims who say social media firms are responsible for stoking violence with their algorithms. The Gonzalez case concerns the 2015 Islamic State attacks in Paris where a young person, Ms. Gonzalez, died and her relatives are now saying basically Facebook should be liable, not only because of the content, but of course with the algorithm drive this content to particular users. That's Julia Hornler, Professor of Internet Law at Queen Mary University of London. She told us the role of social media platforms algorithms is key to these cases. Some of the problems are really due to the algorithms rather than just the content. If we just focus on you know, the old model of traditional media broadcasting, etc., where we can focus on content, that doesn't capture the full picture. Julia told us changes in the law aimed at the algorithms could massively impact social media companies' business models. Obviously, the legislators are aware that they don't want to kill the internet, they don't want to kill social media, so they have to find a compromise between providing better protection from really dangerous content, but still allowing the free business model, which is based on targeting, amplifying. Now, you might need to get a bit creative for lunch as your favourite salad could be in short supply at the moment and frost is supposedly to blame. Asda and Morrison's announced they're rationing some fruit and veg after bad weather disrupted harvest. It's reported that frost in Morocco and Spain in November and December damaged a lot of salads and brassica crops, which we have traditionally relied on for imports at this time of year. Retailers have warned that shortages of tomatoes and peppers on UK supermarket shelves are set to last for weeks. Next. A mysterious large metal ball has washed up on a Japanese beach. It's 1.5 metres in diameter, made of iron, and has been the source of intense speculation online, especially in light of the recent alleged spy balloon incidents. Police cordoned off an area around the ball before examining it with an X-ray and were left baffled after discovering it was in fact hollow. At the time of recording this episode, authorities have admitted they still have no idea what it is, only that it's not about to explode. Why do zebras have stripes? No, it's not the start of a naff Christmas cracker joke. It's actually been a much debated question among scientists for years. Research by the University of Bristol School of Biological Sciences suggests that zebras develop their black and white markings to ward off bugs from biting them. The team discovered that horseflies in particular are attracted to large dark objects, however less so towards dark broken patterns. Research suggests a quarter of children's apps on Google Play do not comply with the children's code. Consumer group Comparitech said its study of more than 400 children's apps available on the store found that nearly 25% violated guidelines by the Information Commissioner's Office in some way, most by collecting personal data. The Children's Code sets out standards that online services must adhere to to comply with the UK data protection law. In a response, Google has said Google Play takes the protection of children on its platform seriously. It added that it has many policies and processes in place to protect them, and it was looking into the findings of the report as well as its methodology. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, toilet history unearthed and stop confusing chat GPT by talking too much. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. Microsoft has limited the number of interactions that people can have with its new ChatGPT AI Bing system, as long as sessions confuse it. The tech giant announced earlier this month it would be updating its search engine with the same technology that underpins ChatGPT, allowing it to use artificial intelligence to discuss queries with users. However, since the update, people have found that the system has attacked, insulted and lied to them, as well as appearing to question its own purpose. Conversations will now be capped at 50 chat turns per day and 5 chat turns per session. Scientists say that life on Mars may be impossible to detect with the current scientific instruments deployed there. 
an international research team led by the Astrobiology Center in Spain tested versions of the instruments that are currently on the Red Planet or due to be sent there, and have raised concerns over their limitations. Since the 1970s, many probes have been sent to Mars to search for microbial life, and so far the state-of-the-art instruments on board NASA's Curiosity and Perseverance rovers have only identified low levels of simple organic molecules. And finally, one of the oldest flushable toilets ever, over 2,400 years old in fact, has been discovered in China. Archaeologists at the China Academy of Social Sciences stumbled across the toilet while excavating two palace buildings in ancient city ruins at a site in Shaanxi province. It dates back between 221 BC and 206 BC. With the upper portion of the toilet missing, experts say it looks deceptively advanced as it seems to have a flush water drainage system much like modern ones. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.